So you just want to do what you love, like music or art. And everyone in your life sees you like this. Hey Ma, I'm going to go drink with the guys in the bar and I'll be back in a couple hours when we're done jamming. But you want them to take you seriously because it means a lot to you. Well, try this. Welcome to Work Wednesday, guys, and for today, I am still wearing the same thing I was wearing in my Friday video because I just shot my Friday video and I'm shooting Wednesdays ahead of time because I'm going to write up in the mountains with the band. Yeah, this band. Mm. Um, so, today I'm talking about, yes, the controversial people in your life who are going to not like the fact that you're doing what you want to do or that you want to do what you want to do and what you need to understand is that those people will always be in your life, no matter how successful you are. It doesn't matter if you're making millions at it or nothing. There'll be fewer and fewer that say it out loud once you make a lot of money, but they're still gonna believe the same thing. Well, your thing is gonna eventually end and you're not gonna be a success and you're not gonna be able to do this, you're not gonna be able to do that. And if you pay attention to some of the things that I have on Work Wednesdays, and do some of the things that I suggest, not that I know everything, but if you take some of those advices, I think that you can have control of the things that you need in life and how much you're gonna make and whether or not you can continue doing the things you love because it's perfectly doable and even though a lot of people don't believe in it because it hasn't worked out for them, that doesn't necessarily mean it won't work out for you. Now I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, you have to do a lot of work to make your dream come true no matter what field you're in, whether you're a football star or an artist, it doesn't matter, it takes a lot of work. The only easy way would be the nine to five in a cubicle because there's definitely a road map that people have laid out for that. But if you're gonna walk off the map, people are gonna look at you differently and you kinda have to accept that. And then you kinda have to show them in your own way that you still have control over the situation and that they can relax a little bit. I mean, it is your dream, not their life, so what do you care what they think? So for me in life, there was an even split. My mom's side of the family believed in doing what you love and doing it as much as you want all the time. And my dad's side of the family believed in doing what made sense. And for them, what made sense was a nine to five or a job that was already acclaimed as a job that many people could have, the masses, so to say. I was called a black sheep by that side of the family. I was told I couldn't do those things, that I wasn't allowed to do those things. And those kind of things turn you away from those people if you really believe in what you love. And if you don't really believe in yourself, then those things kind of turn you away from the thing that you love. So here's the thing. You need to sit down with those folks and break it down for them. The truth is there is no one right way to do anything. And there is no one answer for everybody. And their answer is not your answer. And there are many, many ways to accomplish your dream. As I've mentioned in another video, I'll try and post it somewhere around here. It doesn't have to look the way that they think it's supposed to look. And your life doesn't have to be the way that they think it's supposed to be. And I know that sounds super philosophical right now. Like, you don't have to do what everyone wants you to do. But it's true, you don't have to do what everyone wants you to do. And you're not gonna be able to do it if you try and do it the way they want you to do it. You have to do it the way that you feel it has to go. And you just have to break down for them that there's more ways to scramble an egg, I guess is the saying, right? So for example, I'm not a successful musician because I tour with a Grammy winner. I'm a successful musician because I tour with a band that makes tons of money every year and I own a pedal company. I teach and I have steady gigs on the weekend that pay really well. These are the reasons I've been able to be a professional musician. And it isn't the way that my family thought it was supposed to look. And so they would tell me, stop playing around, get a real job. And I would simply ask what their vision of a real job paid and then assure them that I made twice that. So, you know, don't necessarily do what they want you to do. I guess to sum it all up, long story short, if your family or friends or whoever is being a negative influence on what you wanna do, 
with your life. Work really hard to prove them wrong. And that's my advice for Work Wednesday. I'll have a lot more diagrams in my next Work Wednesday. I'm rushing to get out to write and record with the band. So thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for Theory Thursday, where I will go over some theory thing uh, that I haven't figured out yet. But I'll figure it out while I'm in New Hampshire. All right, everyone.